So go ahead and just come lie down on your back uh, and make yourself comfortable. So that means you can do whatever you want, right? You can lay flat, you can bring your um, soles of your feet together, you could use if you have a blanket or something underneath you, um, either rolling up under the spine. Uh, if you have blocks, you could use those, but just whatever sounds good. Knees bent if you have a mat. And just coming to lie on the earth for a moment. which is the, um, really the quickest way for us to connect uh, to ourselves and, and to uh, really feel grounded, right, when we lay on the earth. Um, and right now it can be um, hard to feel grounded, right? Nothing's the same, you know? Um, and so, so that, That is what yoga teaches us anyway, isn't it? That, that things don't stay the same. We need to try to be flexible and stay in the moment. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't have emotions that go along with all of that. And I wanted to read this small quote from Eckhart uh, Tolle, who is, you know, I don't know if you know him, but he's a spiritual uh, teacher. And he's um, all about really staying in the present and, and not dwelling on the past or um, thinking of the future too much, you know, other than making plans, you know, but not like anxiety, anticipation, fear of the future. So um, don't look for peace. Don't look for any other state than the one you are in now. Otherwise you will set up inner conflict and unconscious resistance. Forgive yourself for not being at peace. The moment you completely accept your non-peace, your non-peace becomes transmuted into peace. Anything you accept fully will, give, will get you there, will take you into peace. This is the miracle of surrender, right? So we talk about that a lot, just surrendering into the what is, because what other choice do we have? We can kick and scream, right? <laughs> Which really creates a lot of conflict. Um, and, you know, then we don't feel grounded, we don't feel at peace. And, you know, maybe you feel at peace right now, and that's okay too. But what I'd like you to do is just see how you feel. Just check in. How are you feeling? Are you feeling peaceful? Are you not feeling peaceful? And, you know, whatever emotion comes up, maybe there's a couple emotions that come up for you right now. Um, just being able to sit with that through our, uh, this meditation as we start our practice and just allowing those feelings to be there because if we don't allow them to be there then we get stuck um, in the fight right so being okay with the fact that if, you know you're not at peace if you feel anxiety if you feel fear you know and then on the flip side maybe none of that is happening for you and you feel at peace and you feel happy today and and everything is good. So whatever is there for you, I'm just kind of connecting to that um, and acknowledging it. And maybe you have a mixture of vibration that's not so fun and some that are good, right? And that's okay too. So just really, really checking in and seeing how you feel right now and be in a place of surrender and acceptance of what is. Um, because a lot of times it's our mind, it is always the mind that creates the conflict, right? The ego's job is to create chaos. That's it. <laughs> so um, we're fortunate to be practicing yoga because we are conscious enough to recognize that the mind chatter is taking us to places that may not be so comfortable. And so as we breathe into our bodies, we can begin to release and surrender into this moment. All right, so just a few more moments, just lying down, feeling the body start to get heavy. Again, oops, noticing where the mind is. And accepting it. <laughs> Good, bad, or indifferent. Right? Just being here. 
And hopefully, as we begin to really honor where we are, we can start to let the emotions move through us. Not allowing anything to get stuck in their tissues. Right? There's a funny saying about, you know, if we don't address the issues, they do get stuck in the tissues. The issues are in our tissues. <laughs> right? And it's true, right? The tension in the shoulders, whatever happens, low back pain can be, you know, tension. Um, so just coming to this place. Feeling yourself on the earth, feeling the gravity, right? There's always a gravity that pulls at us and we can feel it even as we lie down. Sometimes I notice it even more than when I'm standing up. I can feel the gravity just pulling me down into my mat. And that's good. That means we're surrendering as we heavy ourselves. And just being in this moment, feeling ourselves, and loving every part of you. That's not so easy, right? There's a lot of things that we don't like about ourselves, <laughs> you know, but either we accept that and we're okay with it, or we fight it, or we can take action, right? Make a plan and change things that, that aren't good in our minds with ourselves. So that's when the future is important because we can make plans for the future, but we don't want to cause any anxiety about it. We'll just put the vibration out there. You imagine what it is you want. The mind is so powerful. You know, money is an easy example to talk about, right? So if you think, oh my gosh, I don't have enough money to pay the bills right now. You know, I'm worried about this, I'm worried about that. Well, we think we might be promoting um, a way in which to reach that goal of paying the bills, but when we have that kind of vibration towards it, we're actually bringing more lack money, right? So rather than that, we might want to think, oh, wow, I just paid that bill, that's great, you know? Now I was able to get this for myself, you know? Uh, and just seeing the positive things. And that translates to every situation, right? We're just doing our best now to feel ourselves breathing, connecting to your breath. Just feeling the rise and fall of your body as the breath comes in and out. I'm just noticing where the breath is, without any judgment, right? Just notice. Okay, sometimes we might feel it in the belly, in the chest. Right, with each exhale, just letting go. Letting go so you can be in this moment. And then taking deep breaths now in through the nose, directly into the belly. And open the mouth and exhaling, letting that all go. One more time, deep breath into the belly. Make sure it moves, expand your belly. And then open the mouth and exhale, surrender, let it go. And one more time. Nice. And again, pay attention to the exhale because as you let that breath out, our body gets even heavier, the more surrender. And then let's breathe into the root cage. Right? It feels shallow when we breathe there, but it's so deep because we're expanding the diaphragm. So deep breath into the diaphragm. Pull the mouth, exhale, let it go.
Open we'll the mouth, exhale, let it all go. And then into the chest, right? Expanding the heart space, breathe into that. Feel the collarbones broaden, the shoulders open as you breathe into the upper chest. And then open the mouth and exhale, let it go. One more like that. Stand the front and back to the sides of your heart center. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, and one more. Big breath. This time, hold there for a moment, just for a moment. Feel the breath swirling around the shoulders, maybe even as far as up into your neck, collarbones. And then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Really nice, good. And then let's take a full breath, breathing from the belly, into the ribs, up into the collarbones, hold at the top. All right, just a moment more, stick a little more breath in, hold a moment longer, really stretching this breath. And then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, really nice. So now start to come into a deeper breath where you're breathing in and out through the nose, filling up the torso, right? Perhaps engaging ujjayi breath, right? finding that constriction in the back of the throat. Relax your jaw. Relax your mind now. Just be here with your breath. Let's go ahead and bring our hands together. Rub them together. Not that we need to get warm, it's warm enough, but just create some, some energy between your hands. Right? Just feeling the sensation of your hands touching. That's another way to be present, like when you're washing your hands, just feeling the water on the hands, the soap. Right? So just feeling this sensation of rubbing the hands together. And then when you're ready, gently place the heel of your hands over your arm. Eyes, close your eyes. And see if that helps us relax the eyes back into the sockets. Nice, finding some sweet surrender. Still breathing deep breaths. And then one more time, let's rub the hands together. And this time, place them over the ears. You can really feel the, hear the breath here, right? It's almost like when you put the seashell up to your ear. <laughs> I see this feeling of breath as you breathe. Just dealing with our senses, right? This is part of being in our bodies, part of being human, is to have these five senses. Feel the touch of the body, the hand touching the ear. And then one more time, rubbing the hands together. And this time, placing the hands on the chest. And just feeling your heartbeat. Still breathing deeply. And feeling that sensation of the heart pulsing. pulsing. Perhaps even noticing some blood rushing through the body. Good, one more big breath in. One more time, open your mouth, exhale, let it go. Really nice. With the hands still over the heart, just planting a seed here, an intention. Okay. Maybe it is, I want to find peace in this time of chaos. Oh, maybe it's, I want to be grateful for everything in my life. That's really important. Gratitude goes a really long way. I mean, grateful for the food on our table. It's not so easy to get it anymore. <laughs> right? So just being grateful for all that we do have. 
And whatever you've planted in your heart, let's let that grow as we move through our practice. And then let's feel the vibration of us. And we are the same vibration of sound, our body, our frequency. So we're just open with a soft um here. Just feel the vibration of you. Let's take a breath in. Uh... And then one more time, breathe all the way up. Open up, exhale. Good. And then let's release the arms down beside us. As you're ready, turn the palms towards you so your finger, um, finger uh, thumbs are towards the ceiling and your pinkies are on the ground. And we'll inhale, sweep our arms overhead like this. All right, reaching overhead, fill up the body. And then on the exhale, bring the arms down. Take your time. Right? There's no reason to rush. Right? We already rush a lot. Hopefully, staying home has helped us a lot to slow down. The inhale, sweep back up, thumbs towards the floor, pinkies towards the ceiling as the arms come overhead. Exhale and bringing it back down. Nice and slow. And if I'm going too fast for you, then feel free to slow it down. Right? One more time. The inhale, sweep up. Exhale, bring it back down. We're just going to move through the shoulder, uh, full mobility. So hands are to the floor now, palms down. Inhale, sweep up. If you can, keep the palms facing up, and now they're facing the ceiling as the arms come overhead. And then exhale, bring your arms back down. With your breath as your rhythm, float the arms up, breathe in, fill yourself up. Still palms are to the sky as the arms are overhead. Exhaling, bringing it back down. And then one more time. Inhale, float up. Exhale, bring it down. Really nice. Good. Beautiful. Now turn your palms up. Right? Hands are beside you, arms are down, palms to the sky from here. Inhale, sweep overhead. Now the palms are going to face the floor. Right? And then exhale, bringing them down. Again, working with your breath as your rhythm. Right? Just take your time. One more, going up as we breathe in. I think it feels so good to take that deep breath into your body, waking up all your cells. And then exhaling as the arms come down. And then we'll do another one. Inhale it up. Exhale, sweep it back down. Good. Last position is going to feel the most funky. So turn the thumbs down, pinkies to the sky, so the back of your hands are facing your thighs. From here, inhale, sweep the arms up. So now your pinkies are towards the floor, thumbs are towards the ceiling. And then exhale, bring it down. Really nice, good. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, bring it back down. And let's do one more. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, bring it down. Really nice. Good. Now relax your arms. Just turn the palms up if you'd like or down, whatever feels good. Now let's go ahead and if you haven't already, let's bend our knees and place our feet to the floor. Good. Beautiful. Just let your body settle for a moment here. We'll take our feet out as wide as our back. And then let the knees just drop in towards each other. Right? Now, if you're lying flat, you don't have a blanket underneath you, then try to press your low back to the ground. Right? Just press it down. Now, if you do have a blanket under you or something to help lift the heart, you can still now support the low back by gently pulling the navel. Right? We're not going crazy with engagement, but just enough. 
to support. Just breathe here. And let's cactus the arms for a moment. So if the hands, for some reason, do not touch the floor, you could um, open the, uh, the elbows wider and don't do such a big goal post, right? But keep breathing. Big breaths in and up. Letting the breath be the most important part of our practice as it truly is. The breath keeps us present, it heals our bodies. So just being with that, enjoying this time. One more breath in. Exhale out. Really, really nice, good, beautiful. And from here, let's go ahead and open the knees, bring your arms back down beside you. With the knees and feet wide, we'll take a breath. And on the exhale, drop your knees over to the right side. And again, you're sort of engaging the core. Gentle pull in so the low back is set. And feel the stretch now in that left side body and the top of the thigh especially, right? So as hip flexor. If you want to take it deeper, you can put your right foot on top of the thigh. Or not. Right, maybe just staying with this variation feels good. Another option is to walk the left foot out, align your left knee with your hip socket. That will take you deeper. Keep breathing, right? Bring that beautiful breath in to cleanse us and rinse us out. One more big inhale. Exhale out. Really lovely, good. Gently walk your foot back in on that left side. If you walk it out, release the right foot that's on the thigh. Inhale, legs come back through the center. Feet and knees are wide. As we exhale, we drop them to the left now. We get the breath moving. And then we decide, after we've had a few breaths, whether or not we want to add on. And again, left foot on top of the right thigh, or walking that right knee back in line with the hip socket. Or just stay with the first version, right? More doesn't always mean better, especially with yoga, right? And so listen to your body. What do you need? And every day is different, truly. Just this life, right? Every day we come to our mat, it might feel a little different. And just honoring where we are. One more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Once again, if you walk that right foot out, walk it in, or release your left foot from your thigh. Inhale, come back to the sit. Really nice. Walking the feet in so they're hip width and parallel. If you do have a blanket or something underneath or blocks or whatever, let's remove those. And come onto your back completely flat now and hug the right knee into the chest. And then hug the left knee in. So just feeling that stretch in the lumbar spine, the top of the thighs. If you like a gentle motion of rocking, go ahead and add that. And just staying with that full breath. And being so kind and loving towards self. Yeah. Well, let's come back into stillness. And We'll cup our knees individually with our hands. And let's inhale, separate the knees. Exhale, around and in. So we're making these individual circles with our thigh bones and the hip sockets. I just noticing how this helps open the hips, but it's also a great release for your low back. Just taking it nice and easy. Coordinate your breath. No herky-jerky moving. <laughs> and let the breath move us. Good. And then the knees come back together and let's reverse. And sometimes we notice a difference when we do that, sometimes we don't. Just be with what is. <laughs> Keep breathing. Slow, meditative circles. Let's do two more. Full inhales, full exhales. And then bring the knees back together. Give them a nice squeeze in. Perhaps rolling up, bringing your forehead towards your knees. If you want to take one hand behind your head to support your head and neck, let's do that. Squeeze your knees in and down. One more breath. 
And then exhale, releasing. Good. Interlace the hands on the right shin. Let's extend the left leg up to the side. Right now, reach to the heel of your left leg. Really get your thigh along, or your leg. <laughs> your thigh, too, but your entire leg. And take a breath as you exhale. Keep reaching forward, reaching forward as you bring your legs slowly down to the ground. Find that length, right? The heel reaches forward, the toes come back towards us. We're pressing our thigh to the ground on that left side. And then notice where your shoulder girdle is. Tuck it down. Right? Maybe lift up even, tuck it down as you hug this right knee. The right knee could be towards the collarbone if that feels better for you, or even out towards the armpit. And relax your face. Maybe you can press your lower ribs to the ground. And just extend the crown of the head to the wall behind. So this is also a very good pose for a low back, right? It's the left leg, so really good extension there. It's going to help the back. Keep breathing. One more big breath in. Exhale out. Really nice. Good. Now press your low back down. And press your ribs down. Bring your navel to your spine and see. Can the left leg cover for a moment? And so this is our core, right? We're engaging the core, which is going to help low back. Right? That low back is part of the core. Right? So keep lifting the frontal hip bones towards your lower ribs. Notice what's happening with the upper body. Can you relax it? Keep breathing. <laughs> okay, one more big inhale. Exhale. Gently release the left leg to the mat. Good, really nice. One more breath. Exhale out. Release your left hand, move the right knee out to the side so you get an inner thigh stretch. If it feels like a lot to have a long, active left leg, then bend your knee and put your foot on the mat. Right, but let's breathe into the inner thigh of the right leg. And then again, notice how your shoulders hiking up to your ears. Try to drag your little wings down towards your tailbone. Keep breathing. One more breath in. Exhale it out. Good, inhale, bring your leg back through the center. Release your right arm out to the side. Let's use our left hand and guide this right leg across. You don't have to go all the way. Maybe you just go partially and you start to feel the IT band. Some of you, if you want and you feel ready, you can come up onto that left hip. But try to keep your right shoulder on the ground as much as possible. Sometimes a gold post arm on that right side will keep the shoulder more to the ground. Breathing here, so much breath. And taking your right hand, your thumb, right into your hip crease and just push forward on your thigh and hip crease and see how it allows space for the low back. Right? And breathing into that, again, being mindful of the upper body. It doesn't have to be all engaged. Use your hand, your forearm. There's where the strength comes from. One more breath. Exhale it out. Good. <laughs> Let's take a breath on the exhale. Come back through the center. Squeeze the right knee in. And then go ahead. Lift the left leg back up to the side. Breathe in. And as you exhale, bend the knee and hug it in. Both knees in. Good. Really nice. And let's change sides. Interlace the hands on the left shin. Extend the right leg up to the side. Now really try to find the link here. Reach up through the heel. Pull the toes towards you. And try to press the back of the thigh forward. Now if your knees bent a little bit, that's okay. Right, but reach up, take a breath, and keep that length as you exhale. Reaching forward, reaching forward. As you send the right leg towards the ground. Reach, reach, reach. Get really long in this leg. And then release it down when you're there. Good. Right, and then press your thigh to the ground. Relax your shoulders. And again, hugging that left knee wherever it makes sense for you. Sometimes more out to the side is better. Maybe more towards the collarbone. Press the ribs down. Pull the navel in. Crown the head reaches back. And we're out of the upper body, right? We're not in the face, <laughs> the shoulders. Let's keep breathing here. Find the extension through the right leg. Keep breathing. Good, one more big inhale. 
exhale. So think about rocking the pelvis, so bringing those frontal hip bones towards the lower ribs, navel in, see if we can now cover this right leg for a bit. Doesn't have to be very high. If it feels better to go high, do that, right? Place that leg wherever you can keep the connection with the low back to the ground on the rib cage, pressing down. Even though the navel is to the spine, you might feel that your belly is poopy. <laughs> That's okay. That means you're really working the core, right? Keep breathing. Relax the upper body. One more breath in. Exhale, let it go. Really nice. And then gently release the right leg back to the floor. Reach to the heel still. Stay long. Release your right hand, move the left knee out to the side, get an inner thigh stretch. And again, if it's too much, you'd rather put your right foot to the ground and do that. Keep breathing here. So much breath. Noticing again whether your upper body is involved with this, it doesn't need to be. <laughs> Keep breathing. One more big inhale. Exhaling. And then moving the leg back through the center, give it a squeeze. As you exhale, release the left hand, use the right one, guide the sled. Maybe it just comes partially across, right? Find the place that it feels best in your body. If you want to roll all the way up onto the right hip, you could do so. And again, maybe go close to the arm feels good on that left side. Keep breathing, especially as low as the uh, lower abs, right? Breathe down into there. And then again, maybe on this side, we take our left thumb into the hip crease and we push our thigh forward to get the extension in our low back. All right, relax your shoulders. Keep breathing. <laughs> All right, good, beautiful. Let the breath help open this up. One more big inhale. And exhale. Good, really nice. And then let's take a breath, and on the exhale, we'll come back through the center. We'll hug our knee into the chest, extending back up through the right leg. Reach up, reach up, breathe in. And on the exhale, bend the knee and hug the knees in. Very good. Hmm. And then let's go ahead and take our feet back to the mat. All right, and then... Take your arms into gold posts again, and they can be loose. They don't have to be like a 90 degree angle, right? And then tuck your shoulders underneath. Make sure you don't have a blanket under your head here, or whatever, a block or anything else. <laughs> and let's press our feet down, breathe in, and on the exhale, lift the hips to the side. It doesn't have to be very high. Maybe just get them in line with your thighs. And drag your heels back, extend your tailbone, and then notice, as you do that, that turns on the whole hip girdle. Your booty is nice and engaged. We're breathing. Big breaths in and out. Good. One more big inhale. Exhaling, rolling back down, taking a rest. Really nice, good. Just noticing that the lumbar spine has that space now between you and the floor, and just letting that be. Good. We'll do it one more time like this. Press your feet down, breathe in. On the exhale, press up. All right, good, now dragging the heels back really does turn everything on. It helps roll the inner thighs to the ground, engages the hip curl and glutes. Pull your navel and extend the tailbone towards the backs of your knees. Keep breathing. Okay, good. One more big inhale. Exhale. And now gently rolling it back down one more time, settling down to the ground. Lovely. And this time, let's bring the arms down beside us. Palms to the floor. And once again, tuck your shoulders underneath. Now you can either press to the floor with your arms like this, or you can hold on to the edges of the mat. Once we come up, you can also interlace hands underneath if you want to. 
So press your feet down. Take a breath on the exhale. Lift your hips to the sky. Keep extending the tailbone. Drag your heels back. And if you want to interlace your hands, then go ahead. Check the shoulders a little bit more together. Shoulders. Press the arms down. To help lift you up. Or just press them down beside you. Or if you're hanging onto your mat to help lift you up. All right, press the head a little bit into the floor. Get your chin away from your chest. Drag your heels back. Pull the belly in, even here. Deep breathing. One more big breath in. Good. As you exhale, let the hands are laced, unlace them, untuck your shoulders, going down one little bone at a time, bringing your pelvis back to the earth. Ah, oh, very nice, good, beautiful. From here, extend the right leg out, and then the left leg out, and just let the feet be as legs be as wide as the mat. And just let your back release this way. Circle the ankles, wiggle the toes. Right, <laughs> give your feet some attention. So important. Really lovely, good, beautiful. And then when you're ready, we'll rebend the knees, place them to the floor, the feet. <laughs> and then soles of the feet together, knees open. So if you have some blocks and you need a little support, you can pull those in, right? On the outside of the thighs, or sometimes uh, on the outside of the knees feels good. If you're okay with that, then great. Whatever works. Well, let's be in our butterfly soup to body kanasana. Right, just breathing here into those thighs, those inner thighs. Really focus on relaxing your pelvic floor. Letting go through the breath. Just a slight opening up. So when we talk about low back, sometimes it's tight hips that causes the pain in the low back. Right? Everything is connected. It could even be hamstrings. That are tight, that are causing pain to the low back, right? Because it's all connected. Just take some breath here, allow the hips to open. Good, one more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. And one more time, big inhale. Exhaling out. Good, really nice, everyone. And then bring the hands to the outside of your thighs, maybe to help. <laughs> Place your feet to the floor. Really good. And from here, just go ahead and cross the right ankle over our left thigh. Good. Making sure that the hips are nice and even. Let's take our right hand, press our thigh open, move the left side down, press your ankle into the top of your left thigh. One more big breath here. Exhaling out. Good, now from here, press your low back down to the ground. Notice how that changes the pose. Press the rib cage down. Keep sitting the knee forward and press the ankle into the top of the thigh. You should feel a little more activation in your hip. Keeping that connection with the back and the ribs on the ground, kind of keep your legs up. Maybe not. Maybe move them to the ground. Good. Beautiful. Keep the press. Now, can we rock our legs side to side a little bit? We're in the air in the figure four. They don't have to go fast. Side to side. Good. And then come back to stillness, either holding this or put your foot back to the ground. From now, a strap of the hands comes and interlaces around that left thigh. Maybe it's on the shin, right? But if, if you use your hands and notice that the back is picking up, the shoulders, the neck, the head, then add a strap or whatever you have as a strap. Flex your feet. Good. Now keep sitting the right knee forward. And then the, if you want a little more, pull the legs in closer and roll a bit to the left. Really feeling now that right hip, breathing into it, saying good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> One more big inhale. Exhale. One more time. 
Breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Really nice. Good. Come back to the center. If you roll a bit to the left, put your left foot to the ground. Good. From here, extend the right leg up to the sky. And really move your ankle, wiggle your toes. Extend the hell out of the feet. And then let's interlace the hands in the center of our thigh, or perhaps put a strap there. Press the two together. This so is going to wake up the back of our hamstring. So we'll probably feel the calf a little bit too. And then just reaching up. Try to spread your toes apart. Good. Keep pressing. Relax your shoulders. Relax your throat. Good. Feel how long you're getting. <laughs> One more breath here. Exhale it out. Really nice. And then soften the leg and start to walk up at any amount. Maybe it's just a little, just below the knee. So don't pull behind the knee. Maybe you walk up to the calf. Maybe you walk up to your foot. All right? Whatever feels good, get but keep your shoulders on the ground. Stretch out the back of this leg a lot. Okay, hello. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Really lovely, good, beautiful. Now, keep pulling the right leg towards you with your right hand or strap. You can put the strap around your, um, your calf or maybe you're gonna take it to your foot, but pull the leg towards you. And then take your left hand behind your head. All right, good. Take a breath as you exhale, roll your way up, bringing your forehead towards your knee, All right? Press the low back down, pull the navel in, and breathe here. One more big inhale. Exhale. Good, nice, good. And then lay your head back down, release your left hand, release your right leg. Good. And just let your pelvis relax for a minute, let the hips settle down, get even. And when you're ready, we'll take a breath and on the exhale, we'll cross that left ankle over the right thigh. And then bringing this foot far enough over so you can really pull your toes back towards your left knee. And then press your ankle into the top of the thigh. Take a few breaths. Maybe the left hand opens the thigh, pushing it forward, opens the hip more. And from this place, press the low back down. Press the rib cage down. That's good. And keep breathing. Notice what happened in your shoulders. Are they hiking up to the ears? Where's your face? Is it all crunched up? <laughs> Smile. It always makes it better. The way you laugh. Keep breathing. Option to stay where you are, but maybe, maybe, keeping the low back to the ground, your ribs down, we'll release the left hand, we'll pick our legs up. Keep the press between the ankle and the thigh, and we'll just do this gentle rocking side to side. It doesn't have to be crazy. Maybe you want it to be crazy, but then are you keeping your low back and your ribs to the floor? I want you to feel that. Okay, if you use the core in order to lift our legs, and if we keep everything flat to the ground, we're really in it. Good, beautiful. Back to the center, either keeping the press or put your foot back to the ground, or now that option is interlacing hands or using a strap, this time on the right thigh or shin. Keep right, so sitting the left knee forward. Keep breathing. Relax your little wings down your back. Breathing so much breath. And whatever you might need to be releasing, know that that's happening, right? Through our breath. If you want a little more, pull the legs closer and roll a bit to the right side. Yeah, you'll feel that left hip more. Keep sitting the left knee and hip crease forward. Breathe a lot. Lovely. One more big inhale. We'll open the mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Ha. Good. Throw back through the center. Take your right foot down. And then let's reach our left leg up to the sky. And just for a moment, move the foot around. Move the toes around. Getting all that blood and lymph to roll the other way, waking up our feet. Very nice, good. 
And when you're ready, activate your legs. So reach up through the heel, pull the toes down towards you. Now, if you have a little bent knee, you still can do this, right? And you can do that. Either a strap or release your hands down behind your left thigh. Stay out of your shoulders. <laughs> Keep breathing. And you might be pressing so much so that the little tiny muscles are starting to vibrate a little bit of shape. Maybe not. It's okay. Just notice, feel your body, what do you feel? Keep breathing. One more big inhale. Exhale. And then this leg softens. Then we begin to walk our hands up in the amount, not pulling up the back of the knee. Right? So you could be below or above the knee, you could walk up. Maybe you've got your foot, maybe you don't. You could use a strap if you want to here as well. But keep your shoulders to the ground. Right? And just breathe a little bit now into the back of the leg. Say hello. Again, we're working on waking up the hamstring and your calf and all of that. Good, really nice. And then just the left hand has the leg, or you've got your strap on that left hand on the strap. Right hand behind the head. Take a breath as you exhale, roll your way up. And then take your chin towards your throat. Press that low back. You're still pressing low back and ribs to the floor, right? Not letting anything lift up. Try to get your shoulder roll off the ground if you can. That means up to the shoulder tips, right? Sure, pick up. One more breath in. Exhale. Good. Gently roll your way back down. Bend your left knee and hug it in. And then hug your right knee in. And then both legs up to the sky. Really nice. And then just to support the low back, let's take our hands underneath our booty. <laughs> Palms down, but relax your shoulders. Good, beautiful. From here, we're going to inhale. Bring that right leg towards the earth. And then exhale, lift it up. Make sure your navel is coming down towards your spine. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, lift it up. All right, so nice and slow. Be mindful about the movement. Hopefully, the low back is. Fine, because we've got our hands over the buttocks. <laughs> now we should feel the core working here. Not one more time. Good, really nice. Keep it going. Breathing so much breath. One more, you see each side. We're going to end on the left, right? So we start on the right. So make sure the left leg is the last, the last leg. And then come back up with your legs. Good. Take a breath as you exhale. Open your legs to a wide V. You can keep your hands where they are. Or if you're looking for a little bit more, you can release your hands. Bring your hands to the inner thighs. Right, to help open the legs. But even here, I want you to think about lifting your front and hip bones towards your lower ribs. So your tailbone picks up a little bit and you're in your core. You're not dumping into your low back. Just a few breaths here into those inner thighs. Knees can be bent. You could also use a strap. A strap is always an option. Do what feels good in your body. One more big inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, pull your knees in towards your armpits. Either staying like this, or now taking a full happy baby pose. Knees towards the ground, close the feet to the sky. If you try to get your feet and the shoulders and the head have to lift up, then go lower. Pull your ankles, pull your calves, even the backs of the thighs are good. And right, get this stretch here, keep breathing. Good, one more big inhale. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. And last reclining pose we'll do is we'll bring our legs together, open our arms out into a T, take a breath. As you exhale, drop your legs on over to the right side. Reclining twist. Palms can be up or down, I don't really care, you decide. All right? 
And then they had books wherever, you know, the neck is comfortable to the ceiling, to the side. Keep breathing. Good, one more big breath in, filling up the entire torso. Exhaling. Maybe turn the palms down and use the arms to help you here. Enable in, inhale, legs come back through the center. You can always take a block underneath your legs too once you drop them on over to the left side and you stay up the other side. That's always an option if it feels better um, to do that. Okay, good, beautiful. Keep breathing here. I'm looking wherever that neck is happy. If you want to turn the palms up, you can do that. Whatever's nice. Keep breathing. One more big inhale. Exhale and let it go. Huh. Good. Now turn the palms down. Let's use the arms. Press into the ground. Pull the navel in. Inhale. Legs come back through the center. Give them a squeeze in. If it feels okay, let's roll up into a little ball and hang it on the back of the head, right? You don't have to do it on the neck if that feels not so good on the neck. Tuck your chin towards your throat, though, and drag your shoulder roll down. Good. One more breath in. Exhale out. Laying your head down, you're going to come take a seat. So you could simply roll to the side, press yourself up, or if you enjoy a few rock and rolls on your spine, you can do that too, okay? So let's take our way up. And coming all the way up. Eventually taking our seat here. So if you enjoy sitting up on something to help with the hips or the knees or the spine, then let's do that. Um, you sit on your blanket or if you have a bolster or a towel or whatever it is you have. <laughs> Finding your sit bones, right? With the leg and the pelvis come together. Coming into this, it's really a hip opener, Sukhasana. Easy pose. Not so easy for everybody, I know that. <laughs> but just sit here for a moment. Turn palms up or down, you decide. But let's close our eyes. Find our seat. So sit back a little bit, right? The tendency is for everything to pitch forward with the torso. So sit back in your seat. Drag your shoulders down your back, crown the head up to the sky. Feel your breath moving. And just check back in with yourself for a moment. Maybe what you were feeling at the top of the class is still there. Maybe things have shifted a little. Just notice. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's no change, and that's okay. Just notice. The body probably feels better, right? We've been moving. <laughs> a lot of times when the body feels better already, that, that helps us to shift our mood, right? Get your ujjayi breath going. Or just deep breaths. From here, let's take a breath on the exhale. Tuck your chin down towards your throat. Okay, from here. You're going to roll to the right side. Let the right ear come above the shoulder. We're not going behind the torso. So we're staying in the front of the body. Lift up. Look to the ceiling. Come around. Right, right ear towards the shoulder. And then come back towards the center. Chest with the chin. The inhale. Going to the left again. Take your face up. <laughs> Exhale to the right. Come around. And again, inhale. Picking up, coming through center. Exhale. Let's do one more in this direction. Inhale. Exhale, chin into the chest. And then reverse here, take a breath. Rolling now that left ear over the shoulder, start to pick up your chin, your face towards the ceiling right there. Come around through the 
back body, and now right ear and back to the chest. Inhale. Keep it up. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last time around, inhale in. Exhale. Good, now pick your chin back up through the center. Very good, beautiful. Bring your hands to your shoulder hats, bring your elbows forward. Okay, so we're gonna inhale, pull the arms back so they're Elbows are towards the ground. We're pulling our shoulder heads back. We're squeezing our shoulders together. Out to the side. Exhale up. So again, we're starting in the center. Inhale. Elbows down. Out to the side. Exhale up. We got three more. Inhale. Out to the side. Exhale up. Inhale. Out to the side. Exhale up. So we're not really making full rotations, but we are. Inhale. <laughs> exhale and up. There we go. One more. Inhale. Out to the side. Exhale. Up. Come back to the center. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Back and down. Good. Center. Inhale. Up. Out to the side. And exhale. Down. Three more times. Inhale. Up. Back. Exhale. Down. In. Back and then down as we exhale. Here's one more. In. And exhale. Good. Beautiful. Reach your arms out. Take a breath. Lift your heart. On the exhale, round and come forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Let's do one more. Inhale, open. And exhale around. Good. Inhale, send your arms up. As you exhale, bend your elbows. We got goal posts. Squeeze your shoulders together. On your back, pull your navel in. <laughs> Sitting tall and breathing. Good, beautiful. From here, we're gonna, these are called clappies. <laughs> so we're just gonna squeeze our fists over our hands. And do this rather quickly, but breathe smoothly. Inhale, exhaling, but not coordinate with the movement because I want you to go fast. Then you close your eyes. Keep going, breathing. Now, if it's too much, bring your arms down. Don't stop them. Right? <laughs> I want you to feel the forearms. I want you to feel everything get fired up. Two more times. And then reach the arms up, take a breath, and on the exhale, pull the arms back behind you, lift your heart, maybe place your hands on the floor behind, lifting up through the chest, dragging your wings down your back. All right, so we're trying to really find a back bend, a seated back bend. All right, so lift, lift, lift from the chest center. It's not the face of the neck, right? They're in line with our spine. Hug your arms back. Maybe bend the elbows if it helps you. Snuggle them down. Lift up. You can also put blocks under your hands. That might be something you need. Lift up. Pull the navel in. Big breath. Heart open. Exhale out. Good. Beautiful. Start to walk yourself forward. Inhale. Sweep your arms back to the sky. Exhale to your heart. And from here, just walk forward for a moment. Crawl forward. Feel the extension out of your spine and breathe there. Try not to let your buttocks pick up. <laughs> okay, try to press the hands into the ground. Burn your shoulder girdle on your back and breathe. One more big inhale. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Ha! Good, and then walk yourself up. Really lovely, good. And then let's go ahead and release our legs out. <laughs> All right, reestablish your seat. And just lift them up. And then in all kinds of positions. Nice and long, nice and tall. Very good, beautiful. 
Making sure you're on your little sit bones, sit tall. From here, we're gonna inhale, point the feet, exhale, flex. So just a couple of these. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Good, two more times. Pointing, exhale. Last time, point, and exhale. Good, beautiful. And then just spread the toes out, breathe in, and on the exhale, squeeze in tight. Inhale, spread the toes, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, spread, exhale, squeeze. Last one. Inhale, exhale, keep squeeze, 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 and then relax. Very nice, good. Sit tall, bring your legs together, lift your heart. Beautiful. Now, this is where you might want to add a strap. You're more than welcome to do so. We're coming to a smooth forward fold. I know people think, oh, you got to use a strap. Well, the strap actually helps us get deeper into it, in my opinion. Because what it does, well, I don't think it's even my opinion, I think it's true. <laughs> Turn the palms forward to the sky because you pull your toes back towards you, feel the extension of the backs of your legs. Right? So that gets us even longer, more length. Right? And squeeze these outer hips in so you can get a tall spine, take a breath, and those arms, shoulders onto the back, and on the exhale, come forward. Now, once you're forward, you can continue to walk down the strap if you want to keep your shoulders on your back. And once you get down towards your feet, maybe you find your feet. Maybe you don't. Maybe you grab your ankles. Or you just keep with the strap and do what feels right. Now, just keep those shoulders on the back. Keep breathing. One more big breath in. All the way up the back body. And exhale out. And one more time. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good. Let's take a breath. As you exhale, we'll come back up. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and pull our right leg in for a moment. Now use your arms. Pull yourself up to sit tall. Try to keep the left leg active. We'll inhale the left arm up to the sky. And as you exhale, we're going to twist. So pulling this right leg towards you, you're hooking onto the knee right now behind you. All right, good. Now, if you've had a few breaths here, you should feel a stretch even to your outer hip. All right, good. Now, keep glued down on the left side. Some of us are going to stay exactly like this. This is beautiful. If you want to bring your arm to the outside of the thigh, this left arm, you're going to get down first and then press in and lift up. Good. Keep breathing. Or just stay with the first version. All right, one isn't better than the other. Just do what feels better. That's just better. <laughs> well, we're going to grab the head. And if it doesn't feel good to look over the back shoulder, keep your head neutral or even look forward with your sternum and chin in alignment. Last breath here. And on the exhale, unwinding. Very good. Extending back out with the right leg. We establish the seat. Let's pull our left leg in. And then pull ourselves up and sit nice and tall. Activate your right leg. Inhale, right arm comes to the side. As we exhale, we twist. We hook onto the left leg and place the left hand on the floor behind. And drag the shoulders down our back, breathing lots of breath. Option to stay with this version, or again, taking that right arm to the outside, start low, and then lift up, press up. And look wherever the neck feels the best. Keep breathing. All right, we're in a nice big twist here. Breathing into the belly, ribs, collarbones. Use that back arm to help you sit tall, but don't let the shoulder rise up to the ear. All right, keep breathing. One more breath. Exhale, let it go. And then gently unwind. Good, pull both legs in. And give yourself a squeeze. And just breathing into the back body a few breaths, all the way up to that thoracic spine. Big inhales. And exhales. Very good. Beautiful. From here, we're going to make our way to our hands and knees. So come on forward. And again, if you want to put something under your knees, please do that. You've got your towel, or your blanket, or whatever it is. Let us be in tabletop pose. So we want our knees underneath our hips and our hands underneath our shoulders. Very good. Now, really firm the arms up. So try, okay, spread your hands, your fingers up. Right, and press the heel of the hand out to the backs of the knuckles into the ground, especially between the thumb and index finger. Press it down. 
Spin the eye and the elbow forward, and then slide the shoulders down the back and tuck your chair. All right, good. Now here we are in this neutral spine. As we're ready, we'll inhale, curl the toes, lift the tailbone, look up, a cow pose. On the exhale, around the back, flatten the feet into cat. And with your breath as your rhythm, continuing through, inhaling to your cow. Maybe we're using those feet to wake up our meridians and keep our feet healthy. <laughs> Exhale, rounding. Let's do two more like this. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, round. Last one like this. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Come back to a neutral spine. Walk your hands a bit forward. You give yourself a little space. And then let's go ahead and inhale, dropping to the right side, exhaling to the left, pulling back. So making circles. So make them as big or as small as it feels good. If you want to come all the way forward and then push yourself all the way back, or just make them smaller. But do what feels good here. Move your entire body around. Keep breathing. Let your heavy head go. The elbows can bend. Yes, let it feel good. And when you're ready, just take a few in the opposite direction. That is working in balance. Really nice. Let's do maybe one more. Now, when you're ready, slide yourself onto your stomach and come to your forearms. Elbows are going to be under the shoulders. So look at your elbows and really make sure they're under the shoulders. Notice your wrists and your hands. Are they sickling in or out? Make sure they're in line with your elbows. Press the tops of your feet down a lot so that your kneecaps lift up. Get your tailbone long, press your pelvis down, pull your navel in, and then pull these shoulder heads back. Pull them back, and by pulling your hands forward, squeeze your wings onto your back. So feet pose, right? Let's use our breath here. We're building strength. Our back. Keep breathing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more big inhale, pressing down. Exhale out. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. From here, let's go ahead and reach to crocodile pose. Stack your hands and put your forehead on your hands. If that doesn't feel good, you can certainly turn your cheek to the side. Very good. Now keep engaged here by pressing your pelvis down. Pull your navel in. And see if you can let your right leg cover. Get your tailbone on. Press your pelvis down. Right leg is hovering. It doesn't have to be very high. It's better if it's not very high. So you don't want to over arch that low back. The building strength. Right here we are. And then release the right foot. Take a breath as you exhale. Pelvis presses down. Tailbone is lying. The left leg covers. Good. Release down. One more to each side. Breathe in on the exhale. And reach through your right leg. Press your pelvis down. Tempo long. Exhale, release. You're going to engage your glute, right? So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Firm up your leg. Press your pelvis down. Point to the toes. Exhale, release. Good. Now, really make sure you're pressing your pelvis down. Your navel is in. Lift the right leg. And if it's possible, add the left leg. Otherwise, one leg at a time again. I'm going to just keep pressing the pelvis down, navel in, your glutes are active. One more breath. And then exhale, release. Good. Bend your knees, swipe your legs for a moment. Pull it over the front hip bones and thighs. Good. Release the legs down. Very nice. And then Take your arms down beside you. 
Roll your shoulders up, back down, and just the arms. Reach them back, but press your feet down. Your head is on the floor still. Press your pelvis. Really get the shoulder girdle down your back and pick up your shoulder heads. Maybe turn the thumbs out to help you with that. Keep pressing the feet down. And now if it's all right, you can pick up your upper body, your torso, your head, but look down. Right? Chanavasana. One more breath. Exhale, release. And bend the knees and swag them. Your legs. <laughs> Good. And then press the feet down again. All right, really activate your legs. Knee caps are picking up. The pelvis bone is pressing down. Good. Roll your shoulders up, back, down. Reach your arms back again. That really get that shoulder girl down the back. Good. Turn your thumbs. Your hands, palms out. And then if it's okay, pick your head up. But look down. And if it's okay, pick your legs up. Press your pelvis down. Good. One more big inhale. And exhale, release. Good. So now we'll do um, uh, our cobra pose, Ushigasana. Right? So once again, engage your legs. Press your feet down. Get your tailbone long, navel in. Hands are now. More towards the rib cage. Now you're going to hug your elbows towards each other, your shoulder tips together. On the exhale, we're lifting up. Really press your pelvis down, your feet down, those pinky toes. Now you can stay low. Maybe this feels good. You could challenge yourself by lifting your hands. It's going to work your back. Maybe you want to lift up a little higher. Feel free to do that. Whatever feels good in your back, but keep pressing the feet down, pelvis down, and hug your shoulders onto your back. Good. One more big inhale. And exhale. Lower your way back down. Swag the legs a minute or a moment. <laughs> and then press up to all fours and back in the pose of the child. So your choice. You could do wide legs, knees wide, wild child, toes together. Right? Or you can bring your thighs together if you like that better. Now, if this is challenging, hips towards the heels, whatever you have, blanket, whatever, you can put it right into the hip crease area. And then we sit back. Right? And we breathe. One more big breath here. Exhale, let it go. And again, breathe in. Exhale out. Really nice. Good. And then pressing yourself back up to all fours. So I'm hoping you have blocks. Take your blanket. One, come back on it with your knees. And forward. And from here, we're going to take our right leg forward. Good. I want you just to focus here on um, extending the tailbone, right? And drag your shoulders down your back, and then dragging the right heel back. You're going to feel the front of the left leg a lot, right? So I'm trying to get a stretch into the hip flexor psoas muscle. Just use a few breaths here. Some of us are maybe going to press our hands onto the thigh. Breathe a lot. Double long, dragging that front heel back. One more breath. Exhale out. Good, beautiful. From here, let's find our blocks if you'd like. And we're gonna go ahead and straighten the right leg. And then pull your thigh into your socket. Stay even in your hips. Good, reaching up with the left arm. As you exhale, twist a little bit and bring your arm to the outside of your right leg, not your knee, pulling yourself, twisting yourself. Keep your shoulders on your back. One more breath. Exhale out. From here, come back through the center and then just fold directly over the leg. 
Maybe using your blocks to help you, right? Maybe not, maybe you don't need blocks. But keep your thigh in your socket and look at your pelvis, you down here at your leg so you can look up your knee. <laughs> and make sure you're square, All right? One more big breath in. Exhale out. Good, come back, bend the knee, and you find your blocks here. Sink your hips low. Walk forward with this right foot so you're not on your kneecap. Breathing now into the front of the left leg. A lot of breath. Scissor the thighs. Get your thighs towards each other. Get your tailbone long. Maybe left hand reaches to the sky. Use the back leg. Press it down like a rudder. Tailbone long. Niggle in. Maybe we reach up with both arms and we find this gentle lift. Lift the ribs, right? We want to sink down like this. Lift the back ribs out of your pelvis. Good. One more breath. And exhale, release. Good. Now walk your foot back. Bring your blocks back. Feel the back toes lift for a moment into a runner's lunge. Good. Really nice. Big breath in. Exhale out. Last time, you'll turn up the back leg. Exhale. Good. <laughs> I realize I'm going to have my back towards you right here. But spin your back heel down. Bring the blocks to the inside of your right foot and travel to the center. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> I'll go the other way though now. So you're going to be here and a wide leg forward fold. Feel free to fold in any amount. Keep breathing. Good. Lift the front of the thighs. If your legs are straight, keep the tailbone up. Use your entire surface of your feet. Press out through the inner thighs. One more breath. Exhale out. Inhale back to your flat back. Good. As you exhale, turn your toes out, bend your knees, and inhale, come up with your arms. Exhale to your heart. Good. Reaching up and over with the right arm. Feel the stretch, right? Breathe into it. And then release as you exhale. Inhale up and left arm. Stay low, stay in your heels, roll your inner thighs to the sky so your knees are open. Good. And then release. Good. Stand up for a moment. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to your heart. Good. Pinch forward, bend your knees, find your blocks. Let's crawl our way to the other side. Ready right, to go the other way. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and drop our knee down. So we want our left foot forward, right? Come up. Find that long tailbone. Drag your front heel back. Feel the engagement of the front of your thigh. Pull your rib cage together. Breathe here. Maybe staying with hands on the blocks, or maybe we press our hands down into the thighs. Pressing down to the back foot. Keep breathing. And then maybe, 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 right arm this up. You can stay here. Find your gaze, your drisky, right? Maybe left arm reaches up. And then maybe heart lifts without dumping down, right? Pull and lift up. Keep dragging the front heel back. Press the back foot down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more big inhale. Exhale, release the arms. Good. Now we're going to straighten that front leg. Pull the thigh into the socket. Reach up. Right arm, take a breath. As you exhale, twisting, twisting to the other side. Good, really nice. Just a few breaths. And then when you're ready, as you exhale, we'll go ahead and fold in over the leg. Get the torso straight now. Right? Maybe with blocks, maybe with no blocks. Keep breathing. Saying hello. <laughs> One more big inhale. Exhale. Good. 
Find the blocks, perhaps, bend back into the knee, come down low with your pelvis, get off your kneecap, feel the stretch into the front of your thigh on that right leg. One more breath here. Exhale, let it go. Really nice, good, last breath. Exhale out. Beautiful. Now from here, let's walk our leg back in, bring up our foot and curl the back toes, lift up, brother's lunge. Really firm up the back leg, pull your shoulders onto your back, right? Try not to lay on your thigh. <laughs> Check your tail, lift your front hip bones. Good, let my breath in. Exhale. Once again, spinning the back heel down, we'll walk our blocks to the inside of the left foot and I'll be facing the back and I'll figure that out this time. <laughs> but let's come back forward. <laughs> okay, right leg forward fold, folding in for a moment. Let the head go, lift the front of the thighs. Good. Last big breath in. Exhale out. Good, and then inhale, come back through the center. Once again, turn the toes out, sit down, lift up. Good. Inhale, circle the arms up. Our last little standing pose here. This time, take your right hand or both hands on the hips. Notice that they're squared. Reach out with your left arm, take a breath, and on the exhale, just bring it across and see, can your right arm help you? Drop your shoulder, and pull the arm across and breathe. One more breath. Exhale. Root down through your feet. Grip with your toes on your mat. Bring your hands back to your hips. Square them up. Good. Inhale, right arm comes out. As you exhale, we bring it across, dropping your shoulder. Maybe you can grab the top of the shoulder head with the left arm and help your knee crossed. One more breath. Roll your inner thighs to the sky. Don't duck into your knees. Firm up your booty. <laughs> Good, beautiful, maybe sit a little lower. And then exhale, release, inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale to the heart. And then maybe find your blocks again. We're gonna step to the top of the mat and begin to sit ourselves down. Coming back already to the floor. You can use the bar to just simply sit down. Let's roll onto our backs and hug our knees into our chest. Ha! <sighs> Good job, everybody. Nice big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good. Now we'll just release into our final rest. Unless there's something else you'd like to do, a twist I would say, you're more than welcome to do so. Otherwise, we're just gonna take our legs wide, arms out. Unless you prefer to put your feet together, knees open, or some other thing, but let's just come and rest now. And just check back in. How are we now? Don't judge anything. If you're the same as when we started, so be it. If something has shifted, then great. Notice that too. Relax your face. Just be. No more to do. So the peace that we are seeking is inside of us. Can't find it anywhere else. Okay. The joy, the love, the feeling of heaven, all of that, that's inside of us. A few more breaths here. Relax yourself into Shavasana.
Starting to notice the breath of our mind, starting to deepen it. Wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, slowly waking ourselves back up. If it feels good, maybe we just oscillate the head side to side a little. Maybe a full stretch overhead, reaching the legs long, the arms long, and this big breath in. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Bringing the arms back down. Let's bend the knees and place our feet to the mat. Either here you roll to the side, or perhaps you want to hug your knees in one more time. And we gently roll to the side from here. Just allowing things that we don't need to release onto our mat. Coming through this rebirthing. Shavasana really means corpse pose, but it's it's from the, the god the god god um, Shiva, who stands for destruction and creation. So destroying what we don't need. And creating what we want through this fetal pose, the rebirthing. And when we're ready, we'll press ourselves up. Taking your time, finding your way back into your seat. Back with that beautiful full breath. Swing the hands once again into this major of gratitude and bowing. Knowing that you've shown up for yourself today. You're doing what you can to take care of yourself. You're sending prayers of peace out. For you, all that you love. And everybody in the world that we don't even know. <laughs> in our practice with an arm, um, three shantis and an arm um, to sing peace now out into the universe. Take a breath in. Uh... Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, oh. One more big inhale. Exhale out. You so much for joining me today. So grateful for all of you. Really look forward to connecting in each class with all of you. Blessings to you. Namaste. Go ahead and unmute us for a second if you just want to say hello and goodbye, <laughs> or if you're gone and that's fine too. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Hi, Karen. Thank you. Hi, you're doing, Gary. Good. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. And Evelyn, Thanks. too. <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, just uh, take good care. And um, I miss you all so much. One day we'll be uh, in person again, right? <laughs> <laughs> But thank goodness for technology, and we can be together this way. <laughs> okay, sending you lots of love. Thank you. And Bye. See you Wednesday. See you Wednesday, guys. This is to you. Are you doing yen yoga? Yen or, or urban yen or whatever? 
Am I doing what? I was asking Katie if she was doing oh. the next class. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing it? Are you Patty? Grace. Grace. Are you? Are you guys doing the next class? Oh, no, not today. Not today. Okay. Not today. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Be well. So, Karen, how are your ankles doing? Ah, uh, my my feet are getting better. I'm uh, I'm soaking them in Himalaya salt. Okay. Um, and uh, massaging them a lot, and I'm uh, taking a uh, Ayurvedic herb from my holistic Ayurvedic doctor, and it's so helping. What, what, what was the diagnosis? Is it just arthritis or injuries or what? Uh, well, I haven't actually been to the doctor, but um, I've had a Zoom call, you know. Um, and basically, they think that uh, my, um, I've, I've had injuries to both my feet. And as we get older, um, things crystallize. Oh. And get That's hard with scar tissue. Okay. Um, and they're thinking that I do have arthritis in my feet. <laughs> so, and I did notice, Gary, after I stopped teaching at uh, Rising Lotus, um, I wasn't doing as much, you know, with my feet because I wasn't teaching that many classes. So, um, it started over this last year. So, it could be because I haven't been doing as much as I was. So, oh. now I'm making sure that I exercise every morning my feet. I've got specific exercises for them. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering because, you know, I have my right ankle I injured um, quite a while ago, hitting the brake really hard to avoid yeah. an accident, but I, I hit the brake kind of at an angle. And, mm -hmm. and then I had the car accident last August, and that injured my left ankle. Aww. So that's why I was thinking about you, because what they had me doing is using TheraBands. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, so I pull back, and then I put pressure and then I rotate, I do circles, I reverse, and then okay. I put it on the side, the other side. So all different motions. So I do that every day. And since I've been doing that now, the pain's gone. Wonderful. So it's, they said Good. basically you just have to really strengthen everything. But it sounds yeah. like you might have a different, mine, mine are probably ligament injuries that muscles are compensating for. It sounds yeah. like you have something different. Yes, yeah, it's a different, I think, but they're getting okay. better. Yeah. yeah, it's really helping. I still yeah. wear the braces, but I don't know if I, I don't think I need them. My ankles feel well, great. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> yeah, there was something else I was thinking about you too. Um, I, I started meditating maybe four or five years ago, and mm -hmm. I do it every day, about 20 minutes, but I do a guided meditation on headspace app i don't know if you're familiar with that oh yes yes i've okay. used that app uh -huh. okay so you know andy putacom is a you know ordained buddhist monk and so he has on that app there's a daily like a daily meditation where he, if you click on it he teaches you for about two or three minutes about a lot of the stuff that you know you you go over with us and then you do the meditation afterwards there's like a little um Oh, uh, he summarizes it in you know, just a few lines. Yes. And I've always kept those. And uh, this past week, I typed them all up. Um, oh, wow. And it was the one you said by Eckhart uh, Tolle was in there. So um, okay. they're really, really cool. So um, I mean, I've got like four pages of those things. So they're so good to go back and look at. So if you're interested, yeah, I could always... help us, especially during these times. Yeah. 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 So I, I have them on my, also on my desktop, my computer. Good for you. <laughs> That's I, have good. Some, I have some quotes from you in there too. Ah, so good. That I, things that I, that you've taught, they're right on my desktop. Oh, so, good. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll send you some of those too. But if you want, I'll, I'll send great. you some of that stuff because it's the stuff that you like to teach us. So it's just. Okay, so wonderful. Thank you, Gary. All right. Well, I miss you. Um, I miss you too. Yeah. Sorry. So I'm getting back. It's taking a while. It's slow, it's slow road back. But it's happening up. even during coronavirus. So good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Okay. Appreciate right. you. Have a great day. Day too. You have a great nice day. All right, okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.